Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at AlterQuest and how to best organize it. Now this will all include the AlterQuest base game, the AlterQuest stretch goals, and the Ruins of Arkinspire expansion. So we've condensed it down into two boxes, the base game box and the stretch goals box. Without further ado, let's take a look. So first off, let's go ahead and start with the base game box and what we put inside here. So let's lift off the lid, and these do have no lid lift, which is important because if you stack these two boxes together, one on top of each other, they will fit into a single calyx cube with a little bit of room left on top. With that being said, let's open up the top here. So first off, you're going to see the Out of Luxon story guide, as well as the encounter maps from Ruins of Arkenspire, the stretch goals, rule sheet, the first four hero pack. Oh, I forgot to mention that's in there as well. And the additional board. So this one is the base game board. Underneath, you're going to see that we have four sections here. Now, these four sections are actually small containers. So these are Magic the Gathering fat pack boxes. So as you can see, we have the larger side of one of them here. And then we have the smaller container for one of them here. So a fat pack is basically a giant booster pack for Magic the Gathering, the card game. And so if you go to your local card store to ask, they might have some extras around. I got these from a friend of mine that uses, that plays Magic a lot and has a lot of these containers left over from all of his pack buying. So if you can ask for a couple of these, or you can use BCW boxes or any type of cardboard box or something to rise it. The most important thing is that you're going to be able to have room and also you're gonna have something strong enough to hold the board on top. That way everything stays nice and firm and protect below because as you can see we're actually going to get rid of all the plastic that's holding the miniatures and we're going to store those miniatures into bags so right off the bat you're going to see that the different bags have a variety of miniatures i don't know if you can see that very well but inside you'll see that all of these miniatures belong to a specific group of enemies so in Alter Quest, you play with the modular deck system, and so each of those decks of enemies are all represented in a bag. This way, you can just grab the bag that matches the enemy set you're playing with instead of having to fish through different um, huge containers of miniatures. You just grab a bag, and you're good to go. So that all of the different enemies are in these plastic bags. So that way, it's nice and organized. Now, in addition, and the actual boxes themselves, you'll see that they're outside of bags. And that's because these things you'll kind of pick and choose and it's a bit easier, you'll wanna sift around most likely. Now the heroes and the villains, generally you're going to pick a specific villain that you wanna fight against and you'll pluck him straight from the box here and that way you can pick the one that you wanna go against. So maybe you wanna fight against the plague rat or you wanna fight against the frogs here. So you could just simply pick and the rest hang out in here. No hassle with digging through a bag to find the one you need. Same thing goes with the heroes. They're gonna be in another one of those bottom fat pack boxes. You'll simply just pick the hero that you wanna be for that round. And then just throw the rest back in that box. The other two boxes, the larger ones here, they're gonna contain the terrain. So a big feature of the game is the terrain and you're not sure exactly which terrain you're going to go up against. So I've condensed the terrain into these two boxes so you can simply just pull the specific terrain feature that you need. And once again, you're not having to search through a bunch of boxes of miniatures and it's just simply, oh, I need the cage, boom, there's the cage. Or I need the sun shrine or whatever, the fountain. Everything is here, it's easy to grab and that way you're gonna have no issues. And that's it for this box. This is basically going to be the miniatures box. So every game of um, Alter Quest, you're going to bring out this box and you can choose your things you need. And if you want, you can bring these out or you can just leave the box as a whole on the table. So that's the miniatures box. Let's go ahead and pack this away. So the different minions you can just kind of throw in these areas. The most important thing is that those two higher boxes are going to be without any obstructions, and that way everything will rest nicely with the boards on top. And without further ado, let's go ahead and close this thing up. We put the boards and the paperwork back on top. So 
So that's what's in the base game box. This is the miniatures and they're all open so they're ready to go. In the stretch goals box here, this is where we're gonna have all of the cards and the tokens and whatnot. So let's open up the top. And first off, we've got the Ruins of Ark Inspired Story Guide. So if you have a campaign in progress, you can leave them in here, as well as the rules and rules for encounters. Just good reminders to have. You have the additional game board here. And so this is the one from the stretch goals. So you got that creepy looking game board as opposed to the bright colorful one. And then I've got two artist boxes in here. So these artist boxes are $1 a piece over at the Dollar Tree. And this game has a lot of tokens. So you've got the ally tokens in here. You've got the damage tokens here. You've got all sorts of these progress tokens and then the character specific tokens from the hero pack, as well as the trap reminder tokens here, just in case you need them. Now these tokens are totally optional, the ones for the traps and for the allies. You don't really need them. Um, if you saw in the other box, that's where all the miniatures are gonna be. You'll store the ally miniatures in the allies, in the hero section as well. So every blue character is gonna be in that section. So that's that first organizer. The second organizer here is just gonna have more tokens. And these are the tokens you'll most likely be using all the time. You've got the threat markers for the minions. You've got supplies. You've got the quest markers here, the search tokens. You've got the action markers, and then you've got your focus and shields. So lots of different tokens here. They fit super nicely, and it's easy to just pop these two things off at the beginning of the game, and boom, you're ready to go. Now this token pack you might not need, um, but it does have all of the additional rings in case your encounter requires rings. I use these containers, they're 10 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree as well. Very nice little ramekins that serve as great containers and you simply just put it under there and it's ready to go, it's propped up already. Super useful. On the left side here, notice we are gonna have a little bit more miniatures because in that base box, we wanna make sure everything stays flat. So we've got two more sets of miniatures here, just kind of in that empty space on the sides here. All right, and then one more small set of miniatures here. We got a pencil just in case we need to mark things during our campaign sheets. And then on this side here, we have a box full of the doors. So once again, as opposed to plucking them out every time when you are having them in those miniatures containers, I just use simple box. And the doors are pretty solid, so no issues there. And you'll notice inside, we also have the staircase, cardboard piece, and the dice for the game as well. So this does include two extra dice packs. So there's lots of room for all of that in here. So you can use any type of box for this. I actually took a box out of the Obsession game because first of all, it's just a really nice quality box. It fits really nicely in this side here without any lid lift. And on top of all that, the Obsession game didn't actually need this box, so it was kind of wasted in there. So I wanted to use it somewhere well. The next thing you'll notice is another Magic the Gathering container. So this is another one of those large boxes that you're going to get when you get multiple packs at the same time. This one in particular, I have no idea where it's from, but I did get it from a friend, once again, the same friend who gave me the other boxes. This is just a a product of buying a lot of magic cards, I assume. But once again, go to some card shops, ask some friends if they have a container like this, or if all else fails, you can always get some BCW boxes and use those as organization tools instead. So the big thing here is that this has that top that's solid that's going to protect the cards underneath as well as organizers. So if we look here, we've got this nice set of rows and this size in particular is really nice. You've got all of the different characters organized based on their type. So you've got all the minions and bad guys over here. You've got all the heroes here and here. And then from here on back, you have the different quests. I just use some index cards in order to make sure that things are nice and organized. Organize them in alphabetical order so you can easily pick the character you want to use. And it's you just go from there. So every scenario you play, if you're doing a random one, you can pick the quest you want here. You can roll a die to do it randomly if you'd like, or you can select which one you want to do. 
you've got lots of options and then all of the cards you'll use every game, the lurkers and the features and whatnot you'll put on this side. So it's a really straightforward system and I really like this style of box. So shout out to my friend Jeff. He really hooked me up with this organization tool here. So Magic the Gathering containers, go figure, a card game is gonna have some good storage for cards. A lot of Magic players will have organization methods of their own, so they've usually got these leftover extra. So, and with all those fails, ask a friend or check out a local shop to see if you can get some of these boxes. So I really like this organization method and I think it works really well. It gets games going started very quickly. You simply put these token trays on the board, flip them open, grab your bag of enemies, choose your cards, set up the decks, and set up that box of doors and you're good to go. So once again, don't take this verbatim. This is a suggestion for you to get ideas on how to organize it. But this is a method that I found works really, really well. So let's go ahead and pack up this solution. So first off, let's go ahead and put our miniatures back on the sides, our little rings, and then rounding up the top here, we're gonna put those two token containers. Don't forget the pencil. And then we've got our game board as well as the rule books and the campaign guide and boom we are done and that is organizing alter quest with the five heroes expansion the stretch goals ruins of Arkham Spire, and the base game into two boxes if you have any questions about what you saw here please leave them in the comments below it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed i really want to see this channel grow if you have any questions please feel free to ask I hope some of you found this useful. Thanks so much for watching. Side Game Strong.